In a dingy hospital ward in Capoeta, in South Sudan's eastern Equatoria region, lie three severely injured young men from the Gia community. They sustained injuries following clashes between them and another local tribe, the Murle, in early October. The hospital is stretched for resources, a common occurrence in South Sudan, where a five-year civil war has crippled health infrastructures. While much of the fighting in South Sudan erupts between government and opposition forces, more localized intercommunal conflicts between rivaling tribes like the Mule and Gia are also taking a human toll. Some 3,500 members of the Gia tribe, mostly women and children, have now been displaced to Capueta's Kasangor village following an attack and cattle raid carried out by the Mule of neighboring Boma area last July. They have been surviving for months without regular access to basic resources. Fresh clashes between these two tribes earlier this month have only exacerbated the circumstances. The United Nations mission in South Sudan arrived in Capoeta last week and attempted to reach Kasangor to assess the humanitarian and security situation. But poor road conditions forced the team to turn around. The country's lack of road infrastructure poses logistical challenges to the mission's operations and humanitarian partners. Meanwhile, reports coming from Kasangor indicate that water shortages have hit the community, with the thousands of people displaced there depending on only two functional boreholes. That, that are facing a lot of I mean, challenges of water, or a lack of water, or a shortage of water. Uh, and, and I appeal, I've been appealing to the partners to assist. People are struggling with drinking a dirty water that they've been used to, they were flushing and on the ground. Together with mud, they had even drank actual mud water. Despite the challenges, the mission will keep pushing forward to access remote locations such as Kasangor to help the people of South Sudan. UNMIS intends to facilitate a peace dialogue between the Morle and Gia in the near future to foster the peace and reconciliation process.